is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the 24th of January. We're looking at the Dow down 162 at 33,471. A little strange day yesterday. Uh, a lot of strength, and then there was a sudden sell-off, and then a recoup of some of the losses. And the nine-period moving average is so close to turning down again. It is still positive. Uh, we're watching this very closely because I do not want to see today's low so far has been 33,310. We're at 33,454. We hit 33,559. But it's so far looking like I had said to subscribers to my opening goal that I expect a narrower trading range today with a, 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 ne a negative close, uh, a digestive phase. And that digestive phase is that there was a little bit of um, too much optimism Yesterday and day before, we went to a leg E in the S&P, back on the 200-period moving average. It's amazing how it acts like a magnet now, down 25 or 39.94. Look at the QQQ. So many areas in the QQQ and the NDX 100 had very strong sessions yesterday. We've got some of the stocks that were up in the 300s, uh, falling down to the uh, 30s and 50s, having a spectacular uh, run off the lows, most recent runs. I think that's a little excessive. I think it needs to be, uh, it, it, it's, it got a little overbought. IWM is the same thing. I don't, oh, I didn't tell you what the Qs were. Uh, IWM is down $1.16 and 186 The QQQ is down $1.20 and 287 not a, big, not a big deal after yesterday. It's a fabulous move. Looking at gold now, this is going to be very interesting. <clears throat> gold spiked a little higher, went right to that resistance. I remember I was talking about this expanding wedge formation. And that what happens is it really it, you talk about a containment area. And what happens is you can continue here. It can eventually turn into what I call an oval, a, a stalk leg body formation right here. And either it breaks out to the upside or it curves over, rolls over and pulls back a little bit sharper than you would expect and goes to the lower part of the trend line. So we'll see it's down six. That's not a big deal. At 1922, looking at the dollar, the dollar is attempting to form some kind of stabilization here. It's up a whopping 10 ticks at 102.13. <laughs> not that great. A TLT as we go to the break, and then I'm coming up with my Tiger Technicians Hour. I hope you can stay. The TLT is unchanged, and you're looking at crude oil, which had a really nice rally, but it's still in the lower range, is uh, down a little bit. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. I hope you can stay. 